Yo, Johnny, check this out. Just go in the box. I got fire hands, I got fire hands. What's up, y'all? Today's video, we're gonna compare prime lenses with zoom lenses, specifically the Canon Cinema Primes and the Sigma Cinema Zooms. Maybe these puppies are gonna replace the good old primes, maybe not. We're gonna throw them in the battlefield and see what happens. But before we get started, y'all, let's talk a little bit about what's a prime lens. What's a zoom lens? Prime lens is a type of camera lens that has a fixed focal length, meaning it doesn't zoom in, it doesn't zoom out. Unlike a zoom lens, which can cover a range of focal lengths. Prime lenses are also valued for their simplicity, compactness, and ability to create a shallower depth of field, allowing for creative control or focus and composition. Hey, I'm rolling recording over here, eh? You're quite on set. A zoom lens, unlike the prime lens, has a variable focal length. So within one lens, you can have a 25, a 35, a 50, a 100, all in one. A lot of times a zoom lens won't allow as much light in as a prime lens. But zoom lenses are highly sought after because of their ability to quickly change the shot composition and not have to be juggling around different lenses on set like when you have prime lenses. And they also allow a lot of creative control in regards to your telephoto and wide shots, giving you a more dynamic composition. Ultimately, the lens you choose depends on your specific needs, the type of filmmaking you're involved in, and your budget. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna give these lenses to Daniel. We're gonna give him 10 minutes on each set of lenses. So that's 10 minutes with the primes, 10 minutes with the zoom, and have him shoot a montage and get his feedback on what his experience is and how the workflow goes. I'm gonna be his pseudo AC, so I'll help him with the lens swaps. It's kind of important sometimes when you're working with these cinema lenses. They're kind of big, they go in nice cases. I'm ready, here, get off my car, bro. Johnny told me to pull my car back here because they want me to shoot some stuff and Mike's got a challenge. We got Daniel Nanasi on set. And we're gonna put the camera in his hands and we're gonna give him a cinema zoom lens. And then we're gonna give him some prime lenses. Let's see which lens is gonna be better. Mono a mono, Lenzo a Lenzo. Zooms versus primos. Does he have what it takes? Is he ready for the challenge? I don't know. Are you ready? I mean, shoot with zooms and shoot with primes? Easy. I think he's ready, y'all. Easy. You got 10 minutes to shoot some dope shit with this camera. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. I've come up doing run and gun stuff, music video stuff, so I, I can kill the montage. They want a montage, I can kill a montage. I can get them the coverage. But I, I mean, obviously with the zooms, I'll be able to work much faster. One of them is an 18 to 35 zoom, which is to me equivalent of uh, one of my favorites, the 16 to 35 Canon L series. I uh, love that lens, really versatile. And the second lens is a 50 to 100. And these are cinema zooms, the, the good ones, but like the regular ones, like the, the regular uh, Sigmas is what uh, Johnny uses to shoot um, this content on as well. My tactic here, given the time constraint, is I'm gonna get my coverage with one lens and then be done with that lens so I only only swapping one time. And I set up my car in a certain way because number one, I was like, where's the sun? Where can I get flare, right? We're gonna get some good flare. So I parked it here, I parked it kind of crooked. And also I've given myself, instead of flat wall, I've given myself depth on three kind of walls here. I have a lot to play with here, right here for racks. And then if you look this way, this goes all the way down this way, including with this tree. I love cedars, but that's there. I can hopefully incorporate that, some color into this thing. And then if you come this way, this third wall right here, there's some more depth and look how long this is. And there's some, there's a dumpster, a van, there's some elements here that I can use to make it look good. And you're gonna start off with the 50 to 100. Timer starts now. All right, we're done with the five minutes and change with this 50 to 100. I got the wide, and here I go. I like this lens. Five, four, three, two, one. Your time is up. Um, yeah, that was cool. The biggest thing, and this is pretty big, start on the wide first. Think about how a funnel works, because I split that time evenly. And I could have gotten through my wide shots, even with like a creative fun pass in probably three minutes. And when you're talking about what it takes to get what you need on a tighter lens, your focus is more critical. You, I mean, if you're talking about like close-ups, there's infinitely more shots that you could be getting. All right, and we're back. I'm gonna give you the same camera this time, except 
We got a Metabones on it, and you're gonna be using the Canon Cinema Prime lenses. You've got five lenses to choose from, a 14, a 24, a 50, an 85, and a 135. And this time, there's no lens in the camera, so you can start with the lens that you want. This is just, the cool thing about this, there's no zoom. So it's just my aperture and my focus, and wow, this already seems like, I know it's a Canon versus a Sigma, but I can already tell the difference in some of the quality. Oh yeah, see this? There's the, that, see I'm wide, so be careful. Here, I'll hand this to you. Boom, fast, that was faster of a uh, lens swap. And the, I mean, look at the depth of field that this Prime's giving us. All right, let's get the 135 prepped up. I'm gonna skip to 85 and just go like uber tight. Oh yeah, dude. So I'm on a 135, which are, I should have went to 85 and maybe we could do that just for testing for a lens that's within the range of what I had to compare it with. Cause this is a little bit unfair. Cause I only could get to a hundred on the Sigma zooms. Oh, see, I, I could not have gotten that. All right, 14. This doesn't count. He should have that ready. He's on his phone. I know AC could be boring, but you gotta be ready. I'm not shunning, man. I'm teaching the, I'm teaching the little younger brothers and sisters, the older brothers and sisters that are on the come up. I think I got what I need on this 14, so let's do the 85. Thank you. Okay, oh, dude, I could, like, there's a difference. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. All right, yeah, that was a lot more swapping, but the Primes only had two rings on them, which are the focus and the f-stop, your aperture, versus those sigmas have your focus, your aperture, and your zoom. So there's a third element to that, that when you're like moving all fast, you know? And again, those sigmas in all transparency, those are like pretty new for me. And so when you add like a new lens and like where it is and stuff, for me, it, it could get confusing. So it's just like after you, you, you know, you habitualize that stuff, it's second nature. And I, I will admit, I, I have a little bit more experience with those primes, but still there's a complexity level there and another element there. You know, I think it's give and take. Um, ultimately, I don't think it's about which one is better or easier or harder. I think really this is about the takeoff, takeoff, takeoff. All right, so we just shot the Canon primes and the Sigma zooms on, on some small charts. We're pulling up and resolve and we're just gonna look at them real quick. This is not a super scientific test. The first few we're, we're zooming through right here is like the Canons. As we go over here, these are the Sigmas. They're both Japanese companies, so our initial theory is that they're very similar, which is why we decided this would be a good option. One of the things that you initially consider considering primes versus zooms is just the primes are always built and considered to be have the ability to be to have sharper image quality because you're not having to factor in in the lens designs of those multiple lens elements to have the ability to zoom. As we just look at them, we're really not seeing a big difference, which is actually what we're looking for. One thing that the Canon lenses are known for is they have a skin tone, which is kind of a push to the reds that people really like and kind of gravitate to Canon lenses. That's one of the reasons why um, we've been shooting on them in the first place. The Sigmas are normally known to have like a little bit more of a precision to them. They're a little bit more optically clear, just a little bit more precise. But in, in all things considered, they're really close as far as their lens design. And if we look, I'm not seeing a huge difference between them. Just that, that little bit of added warmth that you get in the Canons, and that's basically what we're looking for. And so then the decision just comes down to like what happens on the shoot, the workflow, everything like that. But happy to see that, you know, just initially looking at them, the, the image quality is very similar. Now we're gonna go back to Mike um, and see what the results of Daniel's test were. So y'all, let's wrap this up. Let's land this bird. Daniel, tell us, in your experience after your test, which lenses did you like better? Hmm. Uh, I think both. I think it's all about the right tool for the job. With the zooms, I was able to work faster and you switch lenses like one time. So I can get my coverage quicker. What I lost on that though was a little bit of quality. The primes, those, ooh, really good. 
awesome imaging. I mean, it, like you could see it, like even in your viewfinder, there's difference, quality difference you can see. I mean, like anyone can see that. Probably why they call it Prime. Also, I know for a fact on most Primes, you're getting a lot more speed, which is a lot more light, which is like a lower F-stop, more light. Actually, it's T-stop, it's T-stop. And to add to that, on the Canon Primes, we are using a Metabose with a speed booster which gives you a little bit more brightness and might toss everything out the window. So it's just like that time versus quality argument. And again, it's just about being realistic about what you have to work with and how in with time, with gear, and making the, the most out of it. Good job, D. Boom. Johnny's gonna slice those up. We're gonna roll those videos next. We're not gonna tell you which one's the prime video. We're not gonna tell you which one's the zoom lens video. Tell us in the comments below, see if y'all can figure it out. If you couldn't tell, the first video was the zoom lens video. Second video was the prime video. If y'all like this kind of content, like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.